Sure. And uh, very proud to be in your presence, Mr. Hall of Famer. Ah, this is awesome, man. And both teams are playing pretty well. How about this crowd, guys? This, this is awesome. Everybody's Incredible. into it. I think the owners are into it, that's for sure. Yeah, I just saw Tom. I saw Matt earlier. This is great, man. This is great for all of us. Great for you guys. I bet you Matt was torn a little bit about leaving coaching when he was with you going to business, but it seems like it's worked out all right. Yeah, I think he's making more money in business. <laughs> I don't know about you, Greg. Uh, just a little bit, maybe. I don't know, but it's NIL, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's not for coaches. <laughs> Certainly not for broadcasters. <laughs> Booker from the corner. It's off the heel. Tapped outside of the great Kevin Durant. Monte Morris short. Coach, you, you've coached a lot of great players in your career. But what do you think when you see Kevin Durant? I mean, the fact I, that he's able yeah. to do it at such a high level for so long. I'm just amazed how big he is when you see him in person, you know. Have, have a shot like that. <laughs> he that was, he, that he was hit good, the rim tonight, you know. No, he's unbelievable. And, uh, you know, I was thinking earlier, I was talking to Jaron Jack, the assistant from, from Detroit, and, of course, Booker, and... Tyus Jones, you know, every one of these guys, I was in the final two on and didn't get one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've gotten a lot of guys to come to East Lansing. Yes, indeed. And, and you you have been the man here and on this campus, and you've handled that very gracefully. I mean, when something happens here, they want, they want Tom Izzo's input, and you've always been very gracious about that. You could be a bully, you know, but he's not. Here wow, goes Jay Nivey down the lane. Not many charges in the NBA, is there, fellas? Well, when they are, they usually are. That we got right down to the wire with. So I heard. I've been a, I've been a, you know, what is that called when the bride, you know, the <laughs> bridesmaid. Yeah, I've been the bridesmaid a lot. This Pistons team, though, you. Well, you would have liked you, him. I don't know if you saw him on, uh, on, on Sunday. I saw the second the half. They, they, they were good. They were great, and I, I thought that was excellent for them to get that victory, that confidence, that momentum, bringing into this atmosphere against the. A really good Phoenix team. Yeah, it's true, you know, and I think JB's going to do a good job. You know, I got to know him a little bit when he was with Cleveland, and uh, great guy, and mm -hmm. tough guy, and, uh, you know, he's got his father's background, boy. It's uh, There's a lot of coaching years in that place. I'll say. I knew his dad way back when. He was Dick Mata's assistant in Washington when I started. Probably can't score inside, but the Suns will get another crack clock at 12. For Devin Booker. Oh, come here, come here. Wow. Where is it from the baseline? Some guys can make scoring look so easy. From anywhere on the floor, Booker's one of those people. All right. Stevens runs it up, no. Stewart caps it up, no. Jaden Ivey short with a long gun. Coach, you had a chance to. Uh, had Devin Booker spent some time with your team today. Tell us about that. Yeah, he came, uh, you know, Devin was really, it was right down to us in Kentucky. And in fact, he wore a pair of Michigan State shorts out here. He said he always, his dad was a great guy. And, uh, but he came and watched practice, talked to the team a little bit. Actually gave everybody a pair of shoes. It was kind of cool, you know, his oh, shoes. That's nice. Yeah, so it was nice. And uh, he's a great kid, as you know, Gregory. There yeah, he there's, is there's the coach's in office. There. Yeah. And there's his shoes. Playing party it. too. Coach, Devin's playing in the Oh, shoes. yeah. Look at that. Hardaway Jr. back for Ivy. So it's Malik Beasley, Cade, Beef Stew, Hardaway Jr., and Lamar Stevens. Neither free throw fell, so it's 41-33, Phoenix, and here come the Suns. Just got nine minutes to play in the first half. Coach, you're taking your team up uh, to your hometown next uh, or later this week. Or next yeah, week? up to Northern Michigan. We got a little exhibition game. It'll be kind of fun, you know, my guys. Uh, I always get to know where they're from. They never know where I'm from, so I'm going to give them a little view of it. And, uh, we're going to have some fun. Little team building and and, and a, a team. Northern Michigan won the won the GLIAC last year, so uh, you know they can play too. I know one guy was pulling for him. Yeah, so it's You know, I got to uh, Iron Mountain once when my uh, nephew got married there. And Coach 
uh, gave me directions and even a scout to get me from the airport in Marquette down to uh, Iron Mountain. <laughs> He's got that kind <laughs> of There's pool. not that many roads up there, Gregory. <laughs> he only had to make one turn. But I did take the, take the right route thanks to Coach Izzo. I'm glad Kate Cunningham's back out on the floor, Coach, because I definitely want to ask you about Kate, your thoughts on him. I, I think he's such a terrific player. I was really glad that he resigned with the Pistons. He wants yeah. to be a Piston, too. Yeah, I think he wants, you know, reading and listening to him on interviews, you know. I haven't really talked to him in person, but um, I, I think he wants to see it through, you know. I mean, you come here, and like we all went through, you know, Mateen for me, we struggled sure. a couple of years. And, and all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. You know, you didn't exactly light the place no. on fire your couple of years, and all of a sudden you're a national champ. And I think that's what, it's 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 really cool if you can be there as it's being built. Absolutely. And uh, I like guys that stick around and stick through it. I had a stat here earlier in the game. I know some stats are for losers, but this is not one. Cade and the big O, and LeBron are the only guys that averaged 36 and 5 in their first three seasons. Number one picks that averaged that wow. in the first three seasons. Wow. So he didn't disappoint yeah. as a top pick. You know, you're right about KD, though. You know, he just doesn't look the part, but he holds his own in there. He's, he's stronger than you think. Wiry strong, you know. Stronger than you think. Better defender than you might think. Yeah. And, and can play some point guard. Well, I saw they had him on Cade early, you know, yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. we pointed that out. That was amazing. Simone Fontecchio misses from distance. He shot a few in early. Yeah. It's going to help the Pistons because they're looking for spaces, floor, floor spaces, guys that can hit the three so that Cade and Duran can do their thing down the lane and close to the basket. Grant misses from the lane. Malik Beasley to Simone, back to Malik. Bull Bulls in the ball game. Manute's son played for a minute at Oregon. That's a tall drink of water at 7 2 and 220. We, we are joined by Tom Izzo here with 6 and 50 to play in the first half. Can you stay till halftime? I can do whatever you need me to do. Oh, thank you, folks. Do it. I love it. And our fans will love it, too. Between you two? Sure. And uh, a chance to be around all these great, talented players who who work their behind off to make it to this league. And then they work their behind off to stay, stay in the league. In the league. That's, that's the thing that people don't realize. Getting there means nothing. Right. It's staying there yes. for at least the second contract. That's hard for it. Bull, bull, rebound, Cade Smith. Tyus Jones, I said in the air earlier, he's led the NBA in assist to turnover ratio, a record six straight years, Coach. That's a yeah, guy he's going to be a good addition for the Suns. I mean, he really is. He was a good player at Duke. He was a good player in high school. So, you know, Tyus is going to be a good addition. You know, believe it or not, he married a Michigan State girl. Oh, that's good to hear. You know where the nice ladies are. Jalen Duran with a jam. Finally, something in close. You know, the Pistons, they've had a tough time against this Phoenix defense. I'm impressed with the way Phoenix is, is challenging and, and not allowing anything easy for the Pistons. Mike Budenholzer can coach. You know, it's been interesting for me. I think defensively, both these teams are playing hard. They really are. For this so long thing was, uh, what did they hold that team to? 20 some 30 points or something? They were down by 18. And then from that point, they outscored the Bucks by 50 points. Really? Yes. Bowl, bowl missed from the corner. Out of bounds. Kate Cunningham has the basketball. He has six assists. Booker called for the foul. Devin Booker, Tyus Jones, Kevin Durant, Bowl, bowl, and Oso Igadaro on the floor for Phoenix, and now Royce O'Neal checks in. Kevin Durant sits down. All their guys played about 16 minutes in their win over the Lakers in the first preseason game. The question is, how many will they play tonight as their owner goes against another Michigan State graduate owner? Malik Beasley connects. That shortens it up to 43-38. Basket cut by O'Neal, but they couldn't get the ball to him. 
There's Matt Ishbia. And there's Tom Gorris next to Trajan Langdon. Hopefully turn the page. They certainly look like a different team in their preseason opener, that's for sure. Jaden Ivey misfires. Fontecchio doing what he does. It's off the rim, though. Ty Ty Washington out of Kentucky. Bumped and fouled by Beasley. You have just under five minutes to play in the first half. There was a traffic jam. I know you were in the, you work every day hard, but uh, you didn't see all these cars out here. I had a hard time getting through. Well, you know, look at this crowd. I mean, yeah. I, I am uh, so happy for, for everybody. I mean, uh, especially the players. You know, preseason games sometimes are not well attended, and uh, this is great. And this is not going to be a drudgery kind of a game, that's for sure. But I'll tell you guys, we played against that kid, uh, number four there at Marquette. Igadaro. He, he, he's, he's long, a pretty talented player. 6'10, move 22. Well. Good timing. Stay turns the corner, dishes in front for Ivy. Another pass on selfish play by the Pistons. Well, it started with the cut. Kalen Duren with a jam. Royce O'Neal with a save, but he saved it to Beasley. Jaden Ivey going for it, fell back and lost it out of bounds. Gregory, that's a heck of a coaching point right there. Sometimes it's the guy that really does get no credit that makes the play. Exactly. This is working themselves back into this. Only down five. They trailed by 11 at one point. Ty Ty Washington flips it up. It's around and off to Fontecchio. Simone to the basket, a little too hard, but flushed on the follow by Jalen Duran. Pushing the pace, paying off for the Pistons. You want to push the pace, though, you got to play defense. They're doing that. That's music to Tom Izzo's ears. The Godaro scores. Place of defense, rebound, and run, right, coach? Yeah, and don't turn it over. And right now, they're getting shots up. 47 to 42, five point Phoenix lead. Nice move by Jaden Ivey. I love the way he's reading the opportunities, cutting into the lane, slashing. You know, that's what he is doing a great job of. I mean, sometimes not a great shooter, at least in college, but he has done a much better job of slashing, making decisions. Mm -hmm. And he's playing, he had to play. You know, uh, that, that's an incredible stat right there. I'll tell you what, I'm sure Draymond would agree with me. The best rebounder in Michigan State history and even Big Ten history is Johnny, Johnny Green. Green. Oh, my Hands God. Hands down. I've only seen a little tape on him. The jumping Johnny Green. And, you know, when we played out in New York a couple years ago, he came to the game. He was an awesome guy, too. Awesome. I remember my first time Wonderful meeting him guys. in Seattle early uh or late 80s was at the uh, all-star game in seattle in 1987 it was my first time meeting johnny green i was in awe of him yeah what a great guy though would yes. you agree absolutely very I humble would. very uh love that played 17 years in the nba i know i know former marine well that's a heck of a play by a big guy bowls bowl Found Royce O'Neal for a three. I like Bo Bo. He, he's active. He, he's agile. Uh, you know, that was handles the basketball, play. can shoot it from outside. Beasley. Nick Beasley, cat quick there. Okay, coach. Guys, this is an entertaining game. You know, this has been a good, pretty well played game. I think. Coach, I got, I got an entertaining question for you. Okay, Who's the make, greatest player not to be in the College Basketball Hall of Fame? He's sitting right here. Gregory oh, Kelsey. Gregory Kelsey. How can that be? <laughs> I, I agree with you. What's the matter? Don't they we, like we green? We better start working on that. <laughs> That's going to be my uh, New Year's, uh, rest of the rest of my career resolution. I like it. <laughs> Guys. I understand. Down to the final two minutes of the first half. I'm just about to say it. There's only been 11 turnovers in this game. For a preseason game. Pretty early preseason game. A lot of players yeah. playing. 
Frank Kaminsky, former standout at Wisconsin, is on the court for the Suns. Cade to the basket, denied. There's O'Neal can shoot the three. Yes, he can. Boy, shooting it well. With no, with no hesitation. Clearly, you can see that's part of his role. Get it up. 6'6", 220, he can help you inside as well. The thing that I always marvel at coaches is that, you know, shots that used to land your butt on the bench <laughs> are now welcomed, encouraged. Yeah. Offensive foul on Jalen Duran just now, setting yeah. the screen. Early on the clock, who cares? Get it up there. That used to be no, 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 yes, yes, yes. That's what Gregory <laughs> was just saying. Yeah, I agree with you. Colin Gillespie. He played at Villanova. Yeah, but Villanova. Booker with the turning gun. It won't go. Out of bounds to the Pistons. We're down seven with 54 seconds to play in the half. Sitting courtside with Hall of Famer Tom Izzo. In his place, the Breslin Center in East Lansing. Home of his Spartans of tonight, the Pistons and the Suns. Another offensive foul called on a Jalen Duran screen. Geez, I shouldn't have said something about the turnovers. Now we've got three in a row. Well, some of that is the defense. The defense has been constant. Somewhat of a low-scoring game at the NBA level for these days. These are hard calls, boy. Those, those baseline, you know, mm -hmm. move a foot and it looked like it was a foul. But coach, I want to take this opportunity before you leave us, though, to wish you all the best with the Spartans this year. I'll get to a couple of games as soon as I'm able, and I know George will too. But oh, yeah. we're looking forward to seeing you guys go at it. Well, thanks, Gregory, and thanks, George. You guys have always been great supporters. You got to get your mom and Donna down, and uh, we'll uh, we'll treat her again. She's, Here we go. She's awesome. look forward to that. And my wife Mary wants to come back to you. Oh, Lansing Mary's always basketball. welcome. She was there for the football, right? Yeah, she's, she's always for there D'Antonio. for the football. I mean, for D'Antonio. Oh, Wasn't that nice? That was an awesome night. The class act is Mark D'Antonio, and it was a class function. He celebrated his inclusion in the College Football Hall of Fame. Montecchio with a miss. Time's running out in the first half. We're down to 3.7 seconds. Let's see what they have up their sleeve here. I don't think they'll show it. Well, maybe they will. Looks like a lineup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good well, chance Neil to work on it both ways. Yeah. Looks like they're going to try and push it up the floor quickly with the longer inbounds pass. Kaminsky's got range. Everybody will go with Booker. Let's see what happens. We have 3.7 seconds. Yeah, they're, they're setting something for oh, Booker to changed, get it on the run. They just changed the time to 2.9. Uh-huh. Uh he's, he's got a pair of screens coming, Booker. I think I agree with you. The Piston score crew handling this game. It's a Piston home game. They get the revenue from this huge crowd. Good for the Pistons. Yeah. Thank you, Michigan State. Yeah, this is great for everybody, I think. What a week. Tigers tomorrow. Lions play at home what this a, week. What a game last night. Uh, I think they're at Dallas. Sure. Now they change the time again. Now it's up to 4.9. Big difference. Yeah. There's one screen. Oh, the Wide with the long gun at the horn. Booker with the decoy man. from Nova. Had an open look but missed it. Take a look here. We've got a Hall of Famer between Special K and me. Coach, thanks for joining thanks, me. Thanks, guys, for having me. And uh, let's uh, hope this is a great week for uh, Detroit. Darn right. Great coach, better guy, Tom Izzo. It's halftime in East Lansing. Thân của ông ta đắt nhẹ nhàng. Mình cây âu thể nghe thấy được. Người đàn lông mang mét na thiên cầu. Gian pu vây thủ minh sẽ thử nghiên nát đầu của Han ra. 
ta nếu mình không thể đâm hắn. Không còn cách nào khác để giết hắn. Mình sẽ nghiền nát hộp năm ụ của hắn bằng cục đá này. Hắn sẽ rất đau đón. Mình vẫn có thể ngửi được mùi vị tốt bụng. Mặc dù nó đang đứng trước một con quỷ. Nó để cảm xúc chi phối. Và làm cho nó do dự nó vẫn còn sự cảm thông đối với loài quỷ. Mình không đờ cam nhân được phân con lại cơ thể của mình. Tên nhóc này sẽ không dám làm đâu. Chá lè than đờ mình chết thật rồi sao? Cảm giác thật, khủng khiếp. Tên nhóc này, A-S-S-G-I-Y-U. Mình lãng phí quá nhiều thời gian, mặt trời đang mọc lên.